My name is Noel Riley. Uh, I'm a Rajiri man from, uh, originally from Wellington and Dubbo. Um, but I grew up in Sydney all my life. In the last couple of months, uh, I had some symptoms, so I went to the doctor and sure enough, they had done a camera and found out there was a uh, cancer. It was a shock because my, my father passed away from bowel cancer, so, and he, he left his too long before he went and got it checked out. And for about two weeks, I was, I was down. I was, my mind was just racing everywhere, you know? I started to um, talk to the doctors and, and um, the specialists and that. And then, um, yeah, and then, then I met Jeev and things started to make a bit more sense for me. You know? I, I, I put my head down and I thought, right, I'm gonna just get what I need to get done, you know? Hi, my name's Jiv, proud Pitta Pitta man, uh, born and bred in Dara country out in Western Sydney. My name is Kylie, I'm an amber woman. My family are from Brie Warrener, but I was born down here on uh, Eora country. When it comes to cultural safety, a lot of uh, our patients, um, older generations, the uncles and aunties that come through, they don't want to be in the hospital system. They usually generally have traumatic experiences with that. There's no continuation of care afterwards. The plan is to get out of hospitals as soon as possible. And that's where Kylie and I come in to make sure that they're taking the medication, they're going back to their appointments, um, and they're staying well and healthy. Our role entails uh, about three elements. So one is the individual case management. Um, second would be the um, education and prevention side of things. The third um, part of our role is, um, you know, working with the differing medical teams to, you know, ensure that they are up to date and educated. Um, a huge element of the support we provide goes to the family and loved ones or carers. Mob want to come down and be with their loved ones at a, a very difficult time. So it's, you know, coordinating accommodation and transport, um, resources like food and basic necessities. He's been supportive, ringing on me, checking on me. I find things, I sit there and listen to it, but then it'll be gone within a couple of seconds, you know, and he'll come along, he'll, he'll try and explain it to me, and then also he'll remind me of it later on, you know. He's been very, very helpful for me. You usually want to get a referral, I kind of get a somewhat of a background of, you know, what the diagnosis might be, but I'd like to just go in with a listening ear and just hear their story and, and really base it off what their needs at the time. And I certainly did that with Noel at the beginning, especially, you know, it, it touched me and the team that, you know, he's a young man with a young family and he's about to go on this massive journey. Many people have different cancer journeys. This is quite a large one. I mean, 16 weeks of chemo, five weeks radiation, and then, you know, query surgery afterwards. He's just been rock solid strong the entire way. And I think an inspiration to the community. It's been really rewarding to just be supportive, to, to support people. Um, there's plenty of benefit because, like I said, like I, I, I didn't know what was up and down. I didn't know, I, I don't know who to talk to or, or anything like that. And, and I forget a lot of things too, you know. So um, with Jib, it's been really helpful. So really, really helpful. Mm -hmm.